Have you ever written in a diary or kept a journal? In times like these, writing can be a very powerful tool and practice for your own foundational support. Often when I meet with my clients or have students in a class I'm teaching, I'll give an assignment where I'll ask people to do some journaling. Sometimes I'll ask them to answer a particular question. For example, what do I really want? And then just giving yourself a chance to write down, what do I really want? Or what is this experience trying to teach me? Another assignment I'll give is to ask people to do stream of consciousness writing. Julia Cameron in her book, The Artist's Way, teaches about the morning pages where you write down three pages nonstop of stream of consciousness writing. So allowing all the thoughts and feelings experience to come up without lifting up your pen. So you just let out whatever wants to be let out. And it's surprising what sometimes comes out. I had a student in one of my workshops recently share how he had been writing for a few days and he decided to look back on what he had written. When he looked at his journal, he was surprised because he saw that what he had written was largely negative, a lot of doom and gloom. And he thought, I didn't realize I was thinking this way. And in that moment, he had the awareness to say, okay, let me choose another way of how I could look at life. When we allow ourselves to write and to journal, two things can happen. One, we allow a process for inner reflection to happen where we can give voice to those thoughts and those feelings that lay within us and we give it outward expression so that we can bring greater awareness to what it is that we're experiencing. Sometimes we can find great meaning in terms of what comes out of us. Another thing that comes out of writing is also the expression of creativity, where we allow the imagination to run wild. And then we go to distant lands and we allow ourselves to just write, what if, what's possible? And so your assignment then, if you choose to take it, is to do a little of writing, spend some time journaling. You could use a notebook, there's something powerful about writing with your hand. If you could actually write um, thoughts and feelings, stream of consciousness, write out whatever comes to your mind. Or you could use your computer too, type it out on a Word document. It doesn't matter. But just give yourself the opportunity and the space to say, what is on my heart and in my mind? What is wanting to express itself this day? And let that be your act of creation in this moment. I'd love to hear what you think about this video. If you have a particular writing practice that you do, please share it with us. And share with us if you are planning to do any kind of writing as a result of watching this video. And if you like it, go ahead and press like, follow, and share this with anybody you feel might find this useful. My name is Joselito Ledencia. I'm a spiritual life coach. I'm also a trainer for organizations and corporations on personal leadership and finding your place and meaning in the world. And you can find me at AbundantGood.com. Peace and blessings. Namaste. And you have a blessed day. Take care.